Hello and welcome to the Photo Party Upload video tutorial. This is a getting started tutorial. It's going to cover downloading the helper software, creating your event. It's geared towards people that are looking to set up the system for the very first time. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is open up a browser window. You can use Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox. I happen to be using Google Chrome. And in the address bar, we want to type in login dot photo party upload dot com okay and if you haven't created an account you can do that below by entering your information um, so at the top right hand corner of the screen please click on login and that's gonna bring you to this screen here where you enter your email address and password that you created when you made your account so I'm gonna type in my email address and my password. Once you do that, please click on Log On. That's going to bring you to the main event manager screen. This is where you create events, you modify events, you track your statistics here. Uh, it's, it's your home base, it's your go-to screen. So, let's create an event. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. And I'm going to click on Create New Event. All right. So let's pretend I have an event tomorrow, okay? I'm going to select the date for tomorrow. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to name this event, oh, I don't know. Let's try photo shoot. We don't need to enter a password, uh, but let's put an address Let's put in a city. Okay, once we're finished with that, we're going to click on Next. All right, so we're just going to create a simple event. And what services do you want to add to this event? Well, I want my guests to be able to upload the photos that they want to Facebook. So I'm going to click on that. Please make sure you have the latest iPad application. That's just a little reminder to always keep your iPad application up to date. Enable Twitter. Yeah, I want my guests to be able to tweet these photos if they so choose to. Enable email. Yeah, I want people to be able to email the images to themselves, have a digital copy. Enable prints. You know what? I'm going to have a printer on site. I will be giving physical copies, so I want them to be able to print images. Enable collect emails. Well, because I'm creating just a simple event here, I don't need to collect email addresses, but if I had to or wanted to or needed to, um, I could collect email addresses and I could also add a disclaimer to let them know that I'm collecting email addresses so that they agree to that. Let's scroll down here. What extras would you like to add your, to your event? Well, we're just creating a simple event, so I'm not going to go over these, but I will go over uh, these advanced settings in a uh, following video. So let's scroll down here. Portrait overlay, landscape overlay. This is where you would select your watermark, and your watermarks for portrait need to be a 4x6 PNG and landscape 6x4 PNG. Don't forget, they need to be .png files. They cannot be anything else. So once you've created your 4x6 and 6x4 PNG files, you would click Upload a File. You would select your 4x6 file. For Landscape, you would upload a file and select your 6x4 file. They would both upload here, and you would see them here. Once we do that, we're going to click Next. All right, so because we enabled Facebook uploading, we need to give it an album name. So when people upload their photos to Facebook, those photos are going to go into an album called Photoshoot. Now for Twitter, when people tweet these photos, the message is going to say photos taken by mention photo party upload now when people email these photos they need to be emailed 
from a real email address. Um, I know a lot of people like to put info at their company dot com. Subject, let's put check out your photo. For the header, let's say thanks for coming out to my event. Please see your images below. I'm going to leave the image text blank and for the footer I'm going to say I'm going to keep it simple. Enjoy. And you know what? I'm going to put a link to my website down here in case they want more information about us. Alright, so once I do that I'm going to click on next. This brings us to the terms and conditions and just a little tip here it's going to say to help you test your billing will begin after you have uploaded or printed 10 photos so that gives you the ability to upload 10 photos to email or Facebook just to, to test it and make sure all the settings are correct so I'm gonna click on accept okay and my event has now been created I see it right here in my event manager in the event list and if I had to make changes to it I would simply click on it and I would make the necessary changes. Now that we've created our event, let's download the helper software. So we're going to download the helper software by clicking on the download helper app. And that is going to download to my computer and I'm going to run it. I'm going to run the installer security warning yes I'd like to run it I know what I'm doing <clears throat> welcome to the photo party upload helper setup wizard I'm gonna click on next and I'm going to click on next confirm installation yep I'm going to click on next I see that it's installing okay here we go I'm getting a little pop-up here. Do you want the following program from an unknown publisher? Yes, I know who this is. Okay, there's the icon. It just popped up. Installation complete. Okay, I've successfully installed the Photo Party Upload Helper. I've created my event, and now it's time for me to link the iPad to the helper running on my PC. So please continue on to part two for instructions on how to link the two together.